Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tutorial 6, conveyor, connectors, and who knows else, because it got cut off. Uh, so we're going to check this out, and uh, wish me luck. Uh, we'd like to watch the video, it's probably just showing you when those were added into an update. Let's see what update they have, where this is before they labeled them. Update 26, cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and respawn. So. Uh, the cargo container above holds the components necessary to proceed. These are out of your physical reach, but can be accessed through conveyors. Ooh. Wait, what? What's, what's out of my physical reach? Wait, what am I supposed to do? I guess we'll just follow it. Okay. Press the K on the blue control panel and... Uh, on the collector inventory, drag the contents to the storage inventory connector and oh so this is the is this a dropper? It looks like a connector though. Uh piston complete. Here's the collector. Oh you can do collect on. <laughs> it's automatically welding this piston, I guess. Oh, for safety reasons, watch this. I think we're fine, we did it anyways. <laughs> oh, I guess you can't do that, huh? It's to prevent you from getting zapped to death. See that? <laughs> Somebody put a sensor in there for idiots like me, but I found a workaround. Okay, um... Recall the platform, I guess? Oh, that's if you screwed up. So this is interesting. I thought this would move you, but it doesn't. I saw this in the last tutorial, and I was kind of surprised by it, to be honest. Okay, four, you can use the, let's go up here and read it. Uh, you can use the connectors from the connectors between separate conveyor systems. Press four to extend the piston when the connectors light up. And press one to lock them together. So we're gonna extend this. So these are connectors. And when you see them go green, no yellow, right? Yeah. And then you can turn them into green, yeah. And now they're connected. Uh, when the connectors connect uh, container and select the inventory tab and drag the uranium from the, okay. So here we go. We just put them in my inventory. There we go. Here's one thing of uranium. Oh look at they put one K in here. I guess some people might AFK during this tutorial series a little too much. <laughs> oh boy, got a little ways to go here. Cool. So here's a big cargo container I see. Uh Conveyor sorters can be used to organize and filter the following items through conveyor systems. You know, I've never used sorters, but they're useful. For example, let's say you wanted each refinery to refine a certain different ore. That's kind of how you'd use the sorters. Uh, access the sorter control panel and set the filter mode uh, to whitelist. And then add a new filter section and uh, click on ingots and click on the add button allow. Uh, all types of ingots to pass through the sorter. So here's the sorter, and we're gonna do whitelist, and we're gonna do. I've never done this before. Cool. So you can do full categories or individual. There you go, and that'll be ingots. And then I guess we will. Oh no, we have more to do. This is control panel and set throw out to on and collect all to on. So uh, connector. There we go. So it's pulling it from the system and it's also throwing it out. Cool. Uh, process, uh, select the connector, throw it. Oh, yeah, we did that. Dirt. Oh, it opened the door for us. Pick up the weld tool and components from this crate. Oh, boy, it's going to be multiple. Uh,
you need to build a conveyor tubes to connect uh, the cargo containers. Uh, and well, you must uh, have steel plate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to make a uh, conveyor. So this is finally getting us a little more dirty into the game. And let's get ourselves the weld tool up here. Perfect. So if you put these here, you need steel plates. So we're going to, it's the base component. So whatever the base component is, what you usually use. So let's just go like this for now. And we'll place that there, and we'll place that there. And then you just go up to here and just drop the components in there. And then we go back here and uh, we grab a little bit more. There we go. And you'll see these light up when they're connected correctly. So you need more construction components. It sounds just wonderful to me. See how they light up because they're connected to the part way of the system. Ta da! That's just to tell you to add them to your thingy. So now it's all connected, it's taking the components needed to weld this. And it's both doing what it's supposed to do, weld. And here they come, We Actually, oh, you're like a tight fit. Oh, you're not a horrible person. You wouldn't do what you're thinking. I was thinking of launching myself through these, but that was a bad idea. Let's do something more fun instead. Let's go like this. And, oh, is this not connected? You son of a... <laughs> Objective complete. Objective complete. Anyways, uh, 12, okay. Was that it? We're done? Objective there we go. Complete. Tutorial successful. What about those guys? This is not this connect to the same platform. I guess this is off a different one, huh? Okay, so thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time.